Hey YouTube, we're back. Um, Star Wars Adam and my cameraman. Drunken Jack. We're bringing this to you Action Toys Machine Robo Series number four, otherwise known as Battle Robo, or what was his name again? Tank. That complex name. You know, it's almost on par with uh, Beast Wars, Tank, or just saying guys so here's the box you know there he is in his robot mode alt mode alt mode robot mode shot of him in uh, robot mode and then warning label if you want to read those feel free to pause go ahead and read those otherwise that's the box what comes in the box is same things as the other ones uh, this one has a notice warning, you know, be careful with it in certain areas. Then you have, this one is actually only, um, one page for the, uh, instructions, which it's probably the easiest transformation of the three that are currently out. Um, it's actually pretty decent sized figure. And it compacts into this little itty bitty thing right here. So let's say. And then uh, comes with a weapon, which is this little thing right here, slots in. And then it has the uh, crotch piece, so that way it can go on the flight stand. Or if you reconfigure it to be just the normal stand, whichever you prefer. And then for him. So. Looking at this figure, it's a pretty decent figure in uh, alt mode. There's no tread articulation. This one has no wheels whatsoever, so it slides. It does not roll for anything. Uh, it's actually feels like it has the most die cast out of the three. It is a very heavy figure. Um, you could probably hurt somebody if you threw this at them. So has lots of it has detail in it I mean there could have been more paint apps to it than what it has you have that right there that this side its guns swivel up and down turret moves around then this has on a hinge right there can turn up and down and the one thing real quick I can say by looking at it I think it does an excellent job at hiding the robot bits. If I didn't know myself, I couldn't tell you that turned into a robot. Yeah, it does do that. Oh, and then it has some little weapons right here. So let's go ahead and get this in transformed. Um, let me see if I can get this. Because this slots in weird. As you can see, these are all slots, and then the weapon slots into that. So it's kind of a little awkward little slot. I haven't seen that before. And then it has the little five millimeter ball joint, I guess, so that way it can go into his hand later on. So let's go ahead and transform it. You're gonna unpeg this, unpeg this, so that way it can release the sides over here. Wait, hold on, wait, stop right there, put it back, let me see, the front of him. You know what that reminds me of right there? He's trying to give you a hug. He reminds me of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Look at his face. I guess I can see that. Yeah, freaky. I guess I can see that. Yeah. Okay, sorry Adam, go ahead. No, it's okay. And it pegs in really well, so it's kind of a pain to peg in. And there's not really too many places to get your fingers to unpeg. But, I mean, that rotates. And... Okay, now as you can see, it has the two slots there that just pretty much peg in, so that way it compacts, and as you can see, like Jack said, it compacts very well. So, you'll close this leg piece right here, and this will rotate around, nope, that didn't do that right, nope, that is, I believe, how it goes, let me double check yep that is I didn't pay attention to it when I messed with it but that is how the foot is oddly enough 
that is the foot on him. These will swing backwards back into the body. This will come out like that. Bases on there, yeah. When we opened this figure up, the I was like, wow, that's a just a horrible. Let me see if I can. No, it won't come off right now. Jack put it back on there. Um, when we op when I opened this figure, it didn't have the faceplate on there, so it was just this blue glob. I was like, wow, this has a horrible face. It's just a blue glob. And Jack was like, oh, here's the faceplate. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So arms fold down like that, and the hands will just flip out, peg in. Then it has its shoulder cannons right here. Then you can take in his gun. He can either hold it, not very well because of the clearance issue. You can try and have him hold it. It's kind of hard for him to hold it because of the way the gun is. Um, but what it does show is that the gun goes right here in that hole. So it pegs into his arm like that. So that's his robot mode. He has the two cannons up top. He has shoulder swivel. It can do a full 360. He has bicep rotation. He has an elbow joint. He has wrist articulation, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because every time you mess with it, that kind of comes out. He has that side skirts. Um, he has a small waist swivel. He doesn't have any ab crunch like the rest. He has a knee joint, a uh, thigh swivel on a mushroom peg right there. Then he has your standard foot on a ball joint so it has movement but it's ranged. And personally tank here is probably my favorite out of the three that we're reviewing um i like the color on them i like really bright loud colors so that draws me to it and just the alt mode um if i were to buy this figure i would keep it in alt mode because it's just a really nice alt mode where bot mode is meh i mean it's nice but not as nice as alt mode um Give him a little size comparison here with Seeker's Mold from our last review that we did. As you can see, he's almost as big, so it seems like uh, Rod Drill was pretty much the smallest of the three that we're doing. Um, again, if you wanted to, he could take that piece, plug it in right back there, and have him sit on here, you know, do whatever poses you want to do. I'm not going to get into all that right now. Um, pretty much all I got on that. Jack, anything you want to add? Nope. All right, guys. Uh, again, give us a like, dislike, whatever you want to do. Comment. We will comment back. Uh, Star Wars Adam and Drunken Jack saying good night. Have a good one, guys.